uh, we have Lynn King. She's going to be looking after strategic planning for you, and uh, she is a master strategic planner. Uh, Lynn is a proud member of the St. Albert Rotary Club, and she served as president in 2018 to 19. She brings a background in organizational development, leadership, coaching, and mentorship, training, program development, board development, and consulting. Lynn holds two degrees in social work, and she has enjoyed over 30 years of leadership adventures in frontline and senior roles in government and not the profit sectors. She served as an executive director for the regulatory body of the profession of social work in Alberta, where she worked with numerous stakeholders at local, provincial, and national levels. Lynn is an active volunteer in Rotary and her community in St. Albert. She is married with six adult children and six grandchildren. She enjoys golf, the outdoors, being a foodie, art, music, theater, and of course, volunteering. So quick little pause for Lynn. All right, good. So uh, we'll get started. Uh, thank you very much, Jody, for that introduction. I appreciate it. Um, first, I'd just like to congratulate everyone on your lead roles. And as a fellow Rotarian, I, I want to thank you for saying yes to being here. And thank you for step, stepping up to uh, what's going to be a challenging and really fun role in your clubs. Uh, a few years back when I was appointed as president-elect, I thought that I had a pretty good idea already about what strategic planning would entail for a lead role. I'd already been a leader manager for many years in my profession, and I was pretty well versed, I thought, in strategic planning and leadership in my uh, organizations and the organizations that I worked in over the years. Uh, and even with that experience, I want to share that what was really helpful for me uh, in preparing to be a Rotary president was informing myself about the Rotary resources and the training preparation that's offered through the district. And my hope is that in this session, you're going to get to experience some of this for yourself. So during our time together, please use the chat for any questions or for adding any comments or any inspiration that you want to share with your uh, your your colleagues here that are participating tonight. Any ideas that arise for you, use the thumbs up to participate and I'll address any questions near the end of my presentation. I can't see the chat myself, but I, I uh, understand someone is watching the chat there for some questions. Here's our learning objectives for this part of our session. Uh, first, to identify the steps for planning your year to identify strengths and weaknesses for your club, being able to set strategic goals, and being able to use my Rotary resources to plan input and track goals. So you're gonna get some information on resources and tools that are available to you and where you can find these. And you'll also get a little bit of practice and an opportunity to get some ideas from each other. So through our conversation, the intention really is to support you to create the most value and inspiration for yourself. You'll be the captain of your own ship, uh, and hopefully you'll get some ideas here that you can uh, put to some practical use. And by the time we reach the end of this section, the hope is that your mantra will be, I will have a plan, or my team will have a plan, or whatever mantra you'll adopt for yourself. So to get us started, let's take a look at why planning matters, because planning is important.
some of you may not have been able to hear that, but it was really catchy, funky music. So if I was bopping up and down, that's why. <laughs> um, but we get the idea, planning is important. So to do the, jo the best job that we can, it's really always useful to look at a job description. And so uh, you've all received this Lead Your Club as President. So if you've not downloaded or obtained this guide yet, I say run. Don't walk to have it in front of you and start using it. Right at the front of this great guide, it really clearly outlines your job as president-elect and also the job as president. Um, thumbs up if you're already using this guide. So tonight what uh, we're doing is we are going uh, to work, be working with chapter one and chapter four of this guide. So what is strategic planning? Well, it's a process. And uh, here are some things that are commonly included in strategic planning. It includes setting goals and timelines. It identifies who leads and what measures we're gonna be using when we track our pro progress. It involves meeting to establish a process, identifying stakeholders, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, all uh, otherwise known as SWOT. It includes agreeing and documenting a vision, mission, often values. It includes deciding on objectives that are going to support our goals and then tracking and revisiting our plan regularly. So there it is summarized for you, the common elements of strategic planning. So when we think about leadership, there are three elements that are musts. Number one is having a vision. Number two is understanding a situation. And number three is having the courage to plan and then act. And so beginning with the end in mind, a question that each of you will be asking is, what is the vision that we have for our club? So when you start thinking about a plan, you'll want to have a good understanding of your club's current condition. We all know that when we're engaged in a process of building a plan, it, there's a, a much greater chance of us wanting to support and participate in seeing that plan be successful if we've been a part of it from the start. And there are really a, a, any number of ways that you can approach this important step of engaging your members. So for example, in uh, our club, before my rotary year started, I uh, used some rotary tools um, to create a member survey. And I have to say there are some things in the results of the member survey that happened before the rotary year started that were, some were surprising and some not so surprising. So for example, some of the issues in our club might be some uh, common ones that you've encountered uh, where we're meeting, our meeting times, the quality of the breakfast, um, but there are also some, some other issues uh, that came about. So for example, uh, we learned in our club that uh, a good portion of our, our members really wanted to increase our participation at local levels. And so uh, we were able to use the information from that member survey. It was just uh, uh, really valuable in setting some of the goals that we had for our year. So. Uh, for example, choosing to create collaboration events with some of our neighboring clubs. Um, uh, and then we also connected to some goals for um, aligning with the Rotary International Presidential Citation as a result of uh, what we learned through a member survey. So uh, if you've never done one in your club, the, the templates that are found on the uh, Rotary International sites and the Dist District 5370 sites are fantastic to use and adapt for your own clubs. So here's a good place now to talk about big picture thinking through a systems approach. So in a system, when something happens in one part of the structure, all the other parts are impacted. And, and so it's really helpful if we're able to see our own individual clubs as an important part of the whole Rotary organization. And what this will look like practically is keeping in the scope of your awareness the resources that are on the District 5370 website and the Rotary International website, keeping in mind that we're a part in our district of, in the neighborhood of 
uh, 100 clubs, and every one of us is affiliated with Rotary International for a global network of over 34,000 clubs worldwide. So you'll get your people together, or at the very least, you'll get your board or executive together for a time for planning. And in strategic planning, it's really helpful to have a neutral person lead the process of planning so that you as the leader then are free to participate along with your team. So uh, as an example, again, in, um, our, in our club, we have a process where we um, uh, give awards. Uh, we have a teacher of the month and, and recognize certain teachers in, the, in our community. And one of our teachers of the, of the month uh, in the year where I was president happened to be a great facilitator who said that she loved strategic planning. So I approached her and I asked her to lead our strategic planning session, and she was just delighted to be asked. And so you may have people in your own circles with the skill to do this with you. You can also get ideas from other uh, people on finding a facilitator if that's the route that you'd like to go. Um, and, but the, the beauty of this is that at the end of a single meeting time, there's a plan that naturally emerges and it'll be strong because it's a co-created result if you did it with your team. So in my experience, having both a facilitated brainstorm session and using a club survey really helped make sure that every member of the club had an opportunity to participate in the goals that were set for the year. And it really gave us a great summary uh, for formalizing the goals that we set together in our club and that we uh, were able to uh, enter and track for the year. So once you've taken the time to explore and identify the current needs in your club, you'll want to narrow the ideas to some key priorities and then set some goals for each of the priorities. So in a little bit, Jody's going to be showing us where you can enter your club's goals. And for me, this really helped me get the connection and the importance of outlining and tracking the club goals and where we fit in the big picture. Now, I'd just like to say a little bit about some terms that are commonly used in strategic planning, particularly the difference between goals, objectives, and strategy. So uh, in the vision, a vision, of course, is the future that we see, our preferred future, and a goal is a result, while an objective is a measurable specific action that we need to take to meet what's required for the goal. And a strategy is the method by which we accomplish an objective. And a strategy can change throughout the course of our uh, activities over a given time frame while the objectives usually remain the same throughout. So for example, let's have a quick peek uh, and remind ourselves of the Rotary International vision. Together we see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe in our communities and in ourselves. And then we uh, can see how this is arranged uh, at the international level where the uh, priorities for Rotary International are outlined, uh, including increasing our impact, expanding our reach, enhancing participant engagement, and increasing our ability to adapt. So on your own, when you're doing your own planning, I really encourage you to review these and then see how Rotary has all of these come together, the vision, the strategy, the goals, and the objectives. And it's a, a great example uh, for us. So a few tips on goal setting. First of all, you wanna keep it short and simple. Three to four goals is ideal. Five is good and six starts to become unwieldy. And when we talk about goals, we're talking about the broad goals. And you'll get a sense of this when you start uh, playing with the tools that are on the Rotary sites. Also keep in mind uh, the Rotary st strategic plan, because we've already said in a systems perspective, we'll be powerful uh, globally when we're, when we're aligned and we're singing from the same song sheet. And remember, it's a team effort.
So in uh, your packages, you would have received this strategic planning guide. Hopefully you were able to download it. And we're uh, gonna be going uh, shortly into a group discussion. You'll get to go into a room um, with uh, uh, some of your, your colleagues here. And what I'd like you to do in your breakout is work with these questions. The two questions are, one, identify a strength and a limitation for my club at present. And number two, in the coming year, how might my club best reflect Rotary International's vision and mission? So when you get in your room, please appoint a recorder to share one or two of the ideas. You're not going to have a lot of time. So if you could uh, just please make sure that you go round table and that everyone has a chance to comment. And when you get back, I'll ask that the recorder please uh, type in point form in the chat box one or two ideas from your group. Um, any questions about this? Okay, so let's go ahead and visit with each other and uh, chat with these questions, which will give us some practice to look at the strategic planning guide. Are we all back? Welcome back, everyone. Thumbs up. Yes, we're all back. Okay, how much can we get done in under eight minutes? <laughs> how many groups got uh, to question two? No. Anybody? Okay. None. Uh, not, not everybody. Okay, great. Um, well, we got the hang of it. So uh, here's some great questions that we can take and use with our teams. Um, and so uh, it was fun being in the group that I was with. Uh, I'm, and I'm going to um, pick on them for a... a an idea to share uh, because I got a name. Lou Henderson, would you uh, like to share a couple of ideas from the group? Sure, so, so we talked mostly about the strengths and limitations and most of the things that were brought up were like a, a double-edged thing. So COVID was both a limitation and perhaps an opportunity going into the next year to, to move beyond COVID and come up with um, so a, a hybrid of some things that we learned during um, our sort of lockdown. Um, some of the other limitations were around fundraising and hands-on activities, but um, some of the strengths mentioned were the uh, members connected so well with the communities. Um, people that would normally have been away were home and got to experience uh, what winter is like back in Alberta again after many years of being away. And I think one of the, the big things that came out of our discussion were members uh, or the membership um, ideal of quantity or quality versus quantity. We're not a numbers game. We need dedicated and invested members and not just numbers. Thank you. Uh, is there a group that got to question two that would like to share? I could share. Thank you, Marilyn. We had, uh, we just barely got into question two, but yeah. the, the question being, how does your club reflect RI's vision? And the one area which was expa um, expanding engagement, member engagement, uh, was advised from, from Victoria and the Southeast Club that they ask members to voice their opinions and that therefore they can look at different projects other than the ones they've been continually doing historically. So that's helping them to expand their reach, but also to uh, increase member engagement. Fantastic. Um, so thank you to uh, those recorders that have started to put ideas in the chat. I think that'll be great. And because we're recording this, I think these would be great ideas that we'll be able to uh, share post meeting. Is that correct, Jody? Uh, yes, the presentations will be available through a link. Uh, you'll have to sign into your Club Runner uh, account to access the link because it's not open to the public. Uh, if you want to record the chat uh, near the end of the meeting, I suggest you click on those three little dots in the chat box and you can record the chat yourself to your own desktop 
um, area. So if there's links in there or whatever else, you can record the chat there. But I do believe Deneen also saves the chat and she can send out the chat along with the survey. Um, she'll send out a survey uh, questionnaire for you and a link for all of your um, the PowerPoint presentations and documents. Will be available. Okay, great. Thank you. And thank you for your great ideas. Uh, you know, some common themes around opportunities for the use of technology uh, and uh, uh, what that means for our club. So all uh, some great learning that we all had in our, our uh, clubs for this year. So I hope that you're able to put the strategic planning guide to use. I find these guides really user friendly. Uh, they are bang on in alignment with uh, strategic planning uh, principles. And when you're using these tools, you can really be confident that you're using a good process with your team. So I hope that you do take advantage of them. Great. Thanks so much, Lynn. Uh, uh, I'm just going to summarize now, Jody, and then I'll be uh, complete. So just to summarize our takeaways on strategic planning, we said strategic planning first is about meeting to establish and working through a process, identifying strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats, agreeing and documenting on your vision, strategy, goals and objectives, and tracking your progress. And just before I sign off, I want to wish you all energy, tons of support and lots of fun in your upcoming leadership year. Wish us energy.